Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will talk about a very important website that will help us too much as researchers. Every year or literally every day, a lot of papers are published. In addition, there are millions of existing journals. All this makes it so difficult to choose the most appropriate journal if we already have a manuscript needed to be published. Moreover, if we, we need to search for previous similar studies related to our uh, manuscript to compare with our result in the discussion section, hence we can use this site, which uses an artificial intelligence to do all things I just mentioned. This site called Jenny, as we see here, Jenny is a freely available website based on sample text, such as title, abstract, or even keywords. It can suggest journal, similar articles, or even experts who have published similar articles. So if we are not sure to which journal we should submit our manuscript or we need a similar article to our paper or if we need to find a reviewer for our uh, paper in all previous cases jenny can help us we will see an example simply here in this box we can paste this title for example vaccine induced prothrombotic thrombocytopenia and here we have many options. Uh, if we want to find similar articles, we can press this button. See here, all these articles are similar to our query. See here, prostrombotic immune thrombocytopenia, and here also thrombocytopenia, immune thrombocytopenia, and so on. Uh, these papers are ordered depending on their similarity. So this one, the first one, we see here, it is 100% similar. The second one is 87, and so on. If we use this here all result have a direct link to the pubmed or whatever is the short website so here is our paper if we want to search for a target journal we can press find journals here as we see here, all these journals should be related to our topic, and they are ranked according to something called article influence. What does that mean? Article influence measures how often the articles in the journal are cited within the first five years after its publication. So he gave us this score depending on these articles. And we see here, all these articles are related to our query. And all these articles were published in the same journal, plot. This is the first one here. So the most appropriate journal is this one. So he also tell us that this journal is indexed in both Midline and PubMed Center. Okay, so we will return here again. The third thing I want to tell you that if you need a potential reviewer who are an expert in your manuscript discipline, you can use find author here to find an expert in your subject. All these authors are experts in this uh, topic. Also, I want to highlight something. Sometimes when an author change his lab or go to uh, another university, 
he also changes his email. So Jenny provides you with all available email for any author. You can check something, this one. Yes, this one, see here. Furthermore, instead of using a title or abstract, uh, you can search using keyword search. Uh, that's similar to popular web search uh, engines. Uh, so we can click here and uh, just enter keywords and find journals or find the author or uh, find articles. Uh, okay. The last thing I want to uh, apply in searching uh, using abstract. You can search using abstract. We can uh, use this abstract of this paper as an example. Copy and uh, paste here. Find articles. We can also, yeah. The same nice result will appear. We can also apply something. We can use some extra options. So if you have a specific criteria for your articles, you can, uh, for example, limit uh, search to English uh, case report, uh, meta analysis, or whatever. You can uh, only want paper included uh, in PubMed Central and search articles, this will limit uh, the search. I hope this video was useful to you. Uh, if you want to uh, watch uh, our latest video, you can subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.